Hey everyone, welcome back to Interviews with Plants. I'm Alex, and today we're talking to the Grand Fir, also known as Abies grandis. So this is a coniferous tree. It can grow up to 80 meters tall on the coast, a little bit shorter in the interior. It typically grows in dry to moist forests, more in rain shadow areas, anywhere from low to middle elevations. So let's take a closer look at the bark. So the bark is typically a light gray uh, with sometimes these white models. This is a younger specimen. And when the bark is younger, they've got these blisters on them full of resin. And here's an older specimen. It's quite a bit larger. You can see that there are still some resin blisters there, but the bark is now a little bit darker and it's also got quite a bit of cracks on it. And as I pan up, you'll see that the cracks and the furrowing starts to disappear and the bark starts to become a little bit smoother again. So let's take a closer look at the needles now. This is probably the most distinguishing feature of the Grand Fur. And you can tell just by looking at it, it's very flat. The needles come off the stem in two rows and it's almost like a flat plane. I'll, I'll hold this sideways for you. So you can see that there's almost, there's no needles that come off the stem along the bottom or the, or the top, unlike one of the other firs known as the Amabilis fir, which will sometimes have needles coming off the top of the branch pointing forward. The grand fir does not have that. The grand fir is always this two rows of very flat needles. So I've got a, a branch here with some old growth that's a bit darker green and this is the new growth at the end of the branch here that's a bit lighter and each of the needles are very deeply grooved with a notch at the end it looks like a little m and the underside have two white rows of stomata those are those two very bright white rows on the underside so I've got an example of a cone remnant here. The grand fir is what's known as a true fir. So the cones are upright on the stem. So if you see the cones in the tree, they'll be growing upright off of the stem like this. And usually you won't see an intact cone. The cones will disintegrate in the fall. As you can see, it's kind of falling apart in my hand right now. And if you do see it on the tree, all you'll see is the remnant of the spike that's inside. So one other feature that you can use to help distinguish grand fir is the smell of the needles. So if you take a, a few needles in your hands and you crush them up and you smell it, it'll smell very bright and citrusy, almost like orange and a little bit less, less evergreen kind of typical conifer smell that some of the other conifers smell like, like hemlock or amabilis fir. So that was a little bit today about the grand fir, also known as Abies grandis. Thanks for watching this video. Let's thank the Grand Fur for its time. If you like these videos, please leave a like below and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Thanks, see you in the next one.